So I've enlisted the help of my husband, Preston, to help me conquer my greatest fears. It's time to raise her up. Preston has trapped me in this box until I reach 100,000 new subscribers. I don't like it. This is amazing. I love technology. Please go to my Brianna YouTube channel, because if I reach 100,000 new subscribers by the end of the day, I can come down. Bri, I've given you a bucket list, and you have to get five subscribers in the next five minutes or else. Maddie, so I have a task. Recruit five new subscribers, and if you don't, I get raised 10 more feet. Hello, are you subscribed to Brianna's YouTube channel? We don't get five people to subscribe, she goes higher. Please, I'm dangling in the air. We got one, we got two, we got a third one, we got a third one. Bree, that's three. Hey! I'm not signed into YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> ah, we did it. Bree, I feel like at this point you might be getting a little bit hungry. Why don't you order a pizza? That pizza is never gonna get up to her. This is David with Pizza Hut, how can I help you? I was curious if I could order one large cheese pizza. I'll give you my address right here. It's just look for a large crane dangling from the air. Wait. I'll see you soon. It was really windy, guys. I was going swinging back and forth. So I don't know if 100 is going to happen. This is Zane. Hi. Are you subscribed to Bree's YouTube channel, Brianna, on YouTube? No. Would you like to be? Sure. Yay! We got another one. Have you ever um, delivered a pizza like this before? No. Do you think I can catch it? Probably not. You do have a bucket you can lower. I have a bucket? Yeah. Where? We lower the bucket. There we go. This is really trippy. Oh, oh, Bree. Got it. She got it. Is it good? How? Wow. Good sauce. Bree, you have to finish another item on your bucket list before the crane raises again. Okay. You need to call another YouTuber and get them to put you on their Instagram story. I'm gonna start by calling ZHC. Oh, so ZHC didn't answer. Maybe Michelle would? Why am I nervous? That's weird. I think it's just because of all the adrenaline from being up here. Hi, Michelle. I am literally hanging off of a crane in a small box 50 feet in the air right now. Oh my gosh, okay. <laughs> okay, if you would uh, share an Instagram story. Okay, yeah, I could definitely do that for you. What do you want me to say? I'll, I'll text it to you. Guys, we did it! Three things off the bucket list. The next thing on your bucket list is to make a basket. Easier said than done because Bree is not very hand-eye coordinated. I have only three tries to make a basket. That was really, really close. I only need one more. You no! So remember guys, if I fail a challenge, I have to go up 10 more feet. I just got the butterflies. I was really used to the height. This is getting a little too high. So when I was pretty young, I got to go on top of the Empire State Building. I looked over and I got tingly. That's the first time I knew like, whoo, that's high up in the air. With the bottom of the box being see-through and me swaying in the air, it definitely kind of brought that out a little bit. All right, this one, this one's amazing. You have to give somebody a high five. Unless somebody's willing to climb up to the box, I have no idea how this is gonna be possible. So here's the problem. My next bucket list item is that I get a high five and uh, that's up to you. And if you don't get it correctly, I am raised another 10 feet. Of course. Oh, I got the supplies. I'm only five feet, so we need to make up like 30 feet. Does this actually count? Yes. Oh, it is windy, you guys. We might lose this hand. Can you touch it? Give it a high five. Give it a high five. Oh! Bree! Yay! Do you need a hand? No. But did you high five it? Nope. I did. Did I? Raise her up! I had no choice but to get comfortable in the box because I was going up no matter what. Okay, so I've been in here for I don't know how many hours, okay? And we're getting pretty close to our goal. So, I have one more challenge left, which is to beat Maddie and Mario Kart. It's time to whip Maddie into shape. I've got this. Maddie's a pleb. I don't remember the controls. Okay, she's on the ground, so she definitely has um, an advantage. Oh, I'm getting close to Maddie. Oh, no! Hey! Oh, she hit a cow! No, 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 no! We're so close to the finish line! No, no! Oh, oh, I got a boost. Which way do I, I go? I got a boost. Oh, 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 my oh, gosh. oh, 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 oh! We were tied! Well, at least you checked it off your bucket list, even if I won, and I'm better. So, the clock is six 
19, which means the sun is going to be setting at any moment. We did not unfortunately meet our goal. I just have to say, I am so proud of you for overcoming one of your biggest fears, but a deal is a deal. You didn't hit the goal, so unfortunately. Boys, leave her in the box. <laughs> Don't bring her down. Preston must have heard that I wanted to come down because where he sent me to next was much, much lower. Preston has trapped me 500 feet underwater. This place is so freaking cool. I. Hello. You are going to be locked inside of the submarine until you finish every single task on your list. And every time you fail a task, the submarine is actually going to go 100 feet deep. Oh my god. We just yeah. Stop. Yeah. And I think we just lost connection with Bree. What's my first task? Captain Roman here is going to have you drive the actual submarine. Oh, there's a lot of buttons. Welcome to the oh, office. Go ahead. Thank, thank you. You have to go a mile in one minute. One, two, three, go. What the heck? This goes forward? She's asking what goes forward. Uh, Steven, I'm scared. I think I'm more scared from my life than she is to drive. It's like a compass. I'm doing this well. We're making the fishies move. Look at them. Bree, you have 24 seconds. Oh, oh. Bree, we're tilted and we only have 20 seconds. Stop it. Stop it. Literally 10 seconds until we might go down 100 feet. Oh. You just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. Five, four, three, two, one. Bree, did we do it? Yes, we moved on the mile. I don't know why the captain let me drive the submarine. I mean, he was honestly part of helping me conquer my fear. I don't know if Preston talked to him first, but he was like a genuinely kind person. I don't feel like I look like the face of a submarine captain, but maybe he saw something in me that I didn't. Congratulations on not crashing the submarine. That seemed a little too easy. So now you either have to kick a crew member out of the submarine or go 20 feet deeper into the ocean. I could only think of one thing. I did not want to go deeper into the ocean. Wait, what are you doing? Free. Free. You're that scared of going deeper that you'd rather kick off Vince? He's fine. I expect this from Press and not you. <laughs> You're fine. It's an ongoing thing at this moment, okay? All right, thanks, Bree. Bye, Vince. Thanks. This is just something I wanted to do to help Bree face her fear. I need three envelopes. One says shallow, one says medium, and one says deep. If she chooses this envelope, we're going to go down to 100 feet literally right now. Choose an envelope. I'm not going to tell you what it means just yet. I'm a lefty, so I'm going left. Money. This is money. Yes. Where do you think I get money from? Deep. Captain, take Deep. this to 100 feet. What? Going down 100 feet. Maybe it's better if I sit on the floor. Fetal position. All right, obviously as a kid, you have a ton of fears and the ocean is definitely still one of my fears. Here's a fun one. I need you to get somebody to sub inside the sub. We only have one option here. Oh, Captain Roman. Yes. I have a favor to ask. Okay. Do you mind subscribing to my channel? It's gonna be a pleasure. I'm gonna be my own. Thank you. Only if you teach me how to say subscribe in Spanish. Suscribir. Suscribir. That's me. Yay! Next up, you have to play Battleship, but in real life. There's the sheet. Here's my Battleship. We're going to go 100 feet deeper because there's no way she's going to land a beanbag on this Battleship. I am here to sink your ship. Okay, good luck. Would you like to give me any hints? No. Please. Uh, no. I want to go 100 feet deeper. Okay. Three, two, one. Ow! I'm just going to peg that. Wait! You're fine. That's what I did. Ah! Welcome to my world. Did I get it? No, you know what this means? What? We go 100 feet deeper. Up, higher. No, deeper. Okay, so every time the submarine was getting deeper, at first I would get angry at Maddie, but then I was realizing she was encouraging me the whole time. She was like, Brie, you can do this. I'm going to show you. Almost done. Next up, you have to make a TikTok in the submarine. I feel like pranks are pretty big on TikTok, so I have an idea. So what I need to do is draw a unibrow on that. She's gonna love it. I didn't want to. Preston made me do this, guys. So I completed it. I don't have to go down anymore. One hour later. Oh, that was such a good uh. We didn't have to go deeper, though, because I completed a bucket list item. What did you do? Hold on. I need to fix something. Just it's it's a little lopsided. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, what? Um, what are you doing to my face? I was fixing your eyebrows. everything on the bucket list. This whole time you've avoided going deeper in the ocean, but now you have no choice. For your last challenge, you need to go as deep into the ocean as this submarine will let you. No, I am not 
Preston, Preston Blaine Arsman. I, I am not yeah. doing that. Yeah. Ramon! Oh my god. No! 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 Okay. Oh, ran away. There was a shipwreck right next to this thing, which was not soothing. I feel like my breaking point would have been going down to like the bottom, but we did. And I survived. So it did help me a little bit. I don't know if I would do it again. Today, Preston has trapped me in my childhood fear, this giant hourglass. And to conquer this fear, I have to complete a series of challenges, starting with this. Dance to stop the sand, go. Oh, I'm cool. A, A, I can't see. Ah! Okay, this chick is not doing the moves that I'm supposed to be doing on screen. This, this is not going well. I'm gonna try to cheat, okay? What? It's snowing. Since I didn't pass the first challenge, it is now already filled to my ankle. So the hourglass itself being a fear is strange. It's because I, it was an actual nightmare of mine after I saw Aladdin as a kid. But the fear of claustrophobia, I feel like is normal and that's real. Brandon, to make it out of this nightmare, you need to unlock five golden hourglasses, but don't worry, I've sent some extraordinary help that you're going to love. Oh! Yeah, yeah. Oh no! You have three minutes to smash through each brick wall, revealing codes to a combination lock inside the hourglass. Ready, set, go! Oh, okay. Okay, Chase, you've got, I got this it, right! Hey. Oh, yes! All right, Are three, the, the first code! Zero, zero, seven, zero, seven, three, one! I'll get the zero, next seven, one! Three, one. Chase, I got the red one! Oh, no, 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 no! Green! 10, 21! 10, 21! What? I got it! I came in like a wrecking chase! All right, Bree! The last code is blue, 1228. 1228. Blue, hut. Guys, I can't see you anymore. Bree, just use the force. Bree, did you get it? I did. All right, let's figure out what's next. Oh, uh, what's inside this box? Help me. Bree, did you want another hourglass? There's a key in there. It's already <laughs> so many beads everywhere. That was a close call, but these challenges are only going to get more difficult. So can you rise to the occasion or will you slip up? What does slip up mean? This is a slippery staircase. Chase must collect all the puzzle pieces one by one. Then he must arrange them so Bree can solve the puzzle. You only have five minutes and the time starts now. Chase, you got this. You can do it. Are you okay? <laughs> Rough start. I was just testing the old baby oil. Okay, we got one. Get the puzzle pieces. We got one. Oh. No, 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 no. Already? Jeez. Okay. So. The turtle wins against the hair. Ooh, could have been bad. Be careful. Not again, not again. Oh, no. I know what's the problem. My Crocs aren't in sport mode. Sport mode activated. Yes, it's working. It's working. Ooh, yes. Okay, I'm gonna grab all the pieces right now. Slow, slow, slow. Okay. Ooh, that was close. All right, so now that I'm up here, all I gotta do is no, no, no. Oh wait, it's the last piece. Let's go. Let's grab the pieces. Grab the pieces, Bram. Coming. It's a like button. Guys, please hit that like button. I'm being tortured in here. So we have two out of the five. Bad news is this is still feeling really high and I'm getting claustrophobic and it's really hard in here. I feel like For the next challenge, Bree, you're gonna have to let them chase using that giant scale. Also, here's a shovel. Better get digging. You have five minutes to lift me up. By the end, it's gonna be up to here. Challenge starting in three, two, one. We can do this. Couldn't I have gotten a bigger shovel? Just try, yeah, launch him, launch him. Huh. Here's the Dance Dance Revolution. Do you still like oh, that? Oh, slide it in. brilliant. Work? Everything is fine. Chase, it's not working. Okay. You have me like an inch off the ground. That's good. Put your leg in there. Or like, just cut your arm off. Yeah. Can I get off this thing now? I think we failed. Oh. I almost lost my limb. Bree, this next challenge presents a huge twist. You're going to have to be launching cupcakes at Chase, but he has to catch them using only his face. The challenge starts. Yeah. Oh! Have you used a catapult before, Bree? Never in my life. We're locked and loaded. Three, two, one. Oh! Did I get it? Three, two, two one. one. Yeah! Did I get it? You Did got I really it. get it? Yeah. But chow! Oh. <laughs> I got hungry. All right, let's get it. I'm hit. Let's do it again. Oh. Wait! Get it. I think you got it. Look. I don't know why he punched it. Hit me. Yes. Come on. I'm ready. ready. Oh. <laughs> no. We have to make these two or we lose. Two. Okay, wait. Put both of them in. I'll catch both of them. Okay. This is serious. Wait, what? Oh. I thought you. Chase was throwing. 
I think he meant to do bad at everything. If he didn't mean to do bad at everything, that's really embarrassing, Chase. You gotta do better. This next challenge, you get to work as a team. Do you really have the patience? You both have five minutes to get each egg to the end of the maze. And if the egg drops, you have to start all the way back from the beginning. This you is- Chase, no! I always carry an egg with me, Bree. All right, Bree, second egg. Okay. Oh. Do this for Chuckles. This is Chuckles, baby. Oh my! <laughs> There we go, there we go. I'll, I'll help guide you. I'll okay. help guide you. There we go, there we go. Teamwork and eh. patience. A lot of patience. Wait, this is the farthest I've gotten. Can you do this? There we go, I got Please. it, I got it. Okay. Woo! Woo! Okay. Man, this is a lot easier than your situation. Yeah, that part's kind of tall though. I mean, I'm in my own type of nightmare right now. You're almost at the end. Two chuckles Yay! and beyond. Woo! Oh. Jeez. It didn't break. It didn't break. Oh. It Ew, it's in here! I'm so sorry! We're doing all right. We have collected more golden hourglasses, but time is running out. I will soon not be able to talk, breathe, say anything, because the beads, they weren't stopping. I think I've lost my mind. I think I have some of these in my brain. I want to eat one. No, Bree, no, hey, 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 no, no. Spit it out, spit it out, Bree. Ooh, it pops. Oh my goodness. <laughs> wow, that was amazing. You get it? A little maze pun. But enough jokes, because this next challenge could potentially lead to life or death. Brie, what am I doing with the scissors? I don't know. My parents said I, I'm not trusted. I don't trust you. Brie, in front of you are five different ropes, each leading to a different item of yours. Your goal is to cut the one holding the goal alarm clock, and you can cut as many ropes as you like. Go. We don't want to cut the alarm clock. Okay, okay. These aren't going to cut it. Oh! I brought my own. Of course you do. String one, one, two, or three. One. <gasps> hey! Yes. Why is my phone there? I'll, I'll choose it. <sighs> I'm not giving up. Okay, fine, okay. Yes! No! Your switch is safe. Are you sure you want me to cut one? Yeah. Okay, all your work stuff is on this computer. Number one, not number two. Got it. No! My dad got me that. It's not, you told me to cut it. I need to stop the clock. We don't want it to drop. Okay, which one am I cutting? One of the hands is on three. I'm gonna cut two and three just to be safe, Bree. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. If this clock does not stop. Hey. Oh, yay! <sighs> so guys, look at this progress. I am over halfway buried right now. The hourglass had locks on the inside of the build. So for me to be able to get a key and unlock it, it wasn't like Chase could do it from the outside. I had to dive into all the beads and try to find the locks. That was a design disaster. Press the next challenge, no. quick! Bree, as you can tell, the hourglass is almost full, but you still have some time. So can you do the impossible, the unthinkable, finding a needle in a haystack? Bree, you have 60 seconds to find the bouncy ball. How am I supposed to find that? Uh, like you said, corner to corner. Just okay. rub your hand around, wipe off, wipe on. You know the gist. Breathe and go submerge. Oh man, she's gone. She's gone. Check this corner. Nothing? You got this. I feel like, look at me. Anything? No? Okay, all right. 15 seconds. Bree, 15 no. seconds. Bree, are you okay? Oh no, wait, she's okay, she's okay. Did she get it? Bree, please get it. Bree! Oh, time was up. You got it, I got it. You got it. No, no. What? I didn't get oh. it. This is about to bury me. Um. This is not for content, this is real. I'm actually getting a little freaked out. I'm like kind of claustrophobic and this is locked, but I'm actually freaked out right now. I was actually panicking because like I said, there were locks on the inside of the hourglass. So I was getting claustrophobic because nobody could help me. So I was not okay. It's really tall. I'm on my tippy toes and there's only a tiny air hole. I actually need to get out of here. I'm coming, Bree. Oh, All right, no. Bree, take the keys. Okay. Through your air hole. Oh. All right, um, you got him. Okay. Get out of here, Bree. Okay, Which key so is it? True story, y'all. Behind the scenes, I didn't actually unlock all of the locks. I lost a key. I was panicking. And a man named Tim at the studio, he is so sweet, and he went into mega dad mode. When I said I wasn't okay, he ran and just like ripped the door. I didn't even ask him to, but he was just dad mode and he saved me. It's very kind. Woo! I've never been so excited to get out of something in my entire life. Yes! I overcame my fear! Let's go! So I thought trying to conquer my actual childhood fear was going to be hard enough, but guys, 
it gets even harder from here. This is one of her greatest fears growing up as an only child is spending time alone so much that she filled every single hour of the day with nothing but activities surrounded by other people. And surprisingly, she decided to take me up on the bet. Why do I put myself in these situations? I'm not gonna lie to you, I was kind of grumpy because I didn't want to do this. I was really worried, impressed in, encouraged me, and so did Chase. They were very kind because we were actually doing this but we did it. Each hour, we have an item that we're gonna be giving her to hopefully help her sanity stay intact. If I, at any time, use that ax to get my phone, this video's over. Ah. So I did talk to my dad. My dad is a psychiatrist, so he's literally a doctor who knows a lot about this. There are a lot of potentially negative effects of, of social and physical isolation, feelings of loneliness, depression, anxiety, anger outbursts, and in extreme cases, hallucinations where people start hearing things and seeing things that aren't there. I love you. I'll see you in 50,000 hours. Bri and I have a special delivery coming in. It's going to be your only friend for the entire video. So I hope you like him. This is supposed to be happening. Oh, I was going to say it's a Sharpie, but it's more than a Sharpie. This is my new friend. Don't worry, Francine. You're gonna be with me forever. So one thing I really appreciated is Preston kept giving me more and more challenges throughout this video, so I was never bored. I went kind of crazy and played with a puppet, which was odd. I made a pizza waffle, that was delicious. And then a strange robot dog was, was entering the chat, and this dog was odd. You're gonna see. This dog didn't come with a note. Preston is, I guess he's proud of me. He brought me a buddy. It also came with a remote, so. Whoa, that was. It's doing inappropriate dancing. Ah! I feel like I hear weird things and it's not even this. I hear somebody in here and then the dog is doing things that I'm not telling it to do. What even is that? Hold on. What do you do when you're home alone and something scary like that happens? You probably call someone and I can't do that. I was trying to tell you guys when all of that happened, very creepily, I'm literally sweating. I had a possessed Furby when I was little. It started talking to me in the middle of the night and then I took the batteries out of it and it still was talking to me. That's what this reminds me of. What was that? It randomly does. Ah! I hate you, whoever you are. This dog is, this dog's bad. Stop it! Okay, we're conquering fears today of being alone, so I guess Preston also had to have me conquer being alone with scary objects. Ah, uh, Brianna, I see that you found the TV, but unfortunately, the next hour isn't up, so we're gonna play this. Here's a much better one. You know what this is making me think about? This axe. Seven. I'm kind of excited. This is an ice cream slime kit. Oh, that's fun. I've done everything under the sun to entertain myself. Hour eight. If only you guys were here, like we could do this together. That would be really cool. Hour nine. I used to call her with my mom all the time. Oh, now I miss my mom. Whoa, dinner in the green bag. It's time to put the steak in. Oh my gosh, I don't think it fits. Uh, guys, look at this. A really comfy looking pillow, an air mattress, which hopefully I can figure out how to assemble. Okay, some books. That could be fun. Our economy is troubled, our future uncertain, and the divorce rate has never been higher. Caught in a struggle between, I know, that is really depressing. I made the halfway point and I kind of sat down and journaled for a bit, so I didn't forget all the things that I had done already, but I was afraid to sleep there. I didn't like that. We have a cotton candy machine. You add your sugar into here, and then, fingers crossed, we got this. <gasps> it turned out fine, except for like the crunchy parts that I melted. But I can't stop thinking that all of this would be a lot more fun to do with another person. Aww, I love chuckles. Also a laptop, only 20 minutes max. I love playing The Sims, so we're gonna make a friend. Oh, maybe I'll make him look like Preston. That's what I'll do. I think, I think that's good. It could be worse, right? Let's see Preston cook. 
Uh oh, he's definitely. <gasps> no! No! Preston's on fire! You don't cook that often, but I thought you were better than this. The entire house is on fire. I have one minute left. Bye, Preston. Huh? Okay, this does not make sense. I don't feel like I'm supposed to have a phone. It says watch me, and it's a video of Preston. I don't know if you know what time it is, but this is typically when we go to bed together, but unfortunately tonight, I know you're in solitary confinement. I just wanna tell you I love you, proud of you, and good night. You're the best. Why did that make me sad? That was supposed to make me happy. I have both Chuckles and Franklin chilling here with me. I tried sleeping as much as I could, tossing and turning nonstop until... Good morning, guys. I slept awful, as you probably saw. I decided to drink 35 ounces of water before going to bed, which was a horrible idea. And then I learned that the temperature I normally sleep at is significantly colder when you're by yourself. However, I wanna grab that phone out there so bad. Everything is gone. Only one more hour. Can you last in complete silence? That is going to make me feel horrible. I just woke up. You know, we still have this. Being completely isolated and now deprived of hearing. Whoa. This feels weird. I entered a state of... Isn't this called sensory deprivation? So I'm like lonely which is on like Maslow's pyramid of like needs that you have to have. I barely slept. I have no caffeine to wake me up and I can't hear. Every second that went by felt like an eternity. I can't imagine doing this for longer. And that ax looked better and better. It makes it a lot harder. But I had come so far and I spent well over 23 hours by myself. This is literally only me not hearing and I feel like the floor is moving. All right, the time's almost done. Bring in your coffee, but we got a couple of friends. It is so much harder to wait with this. Even though this last hurdle made me want to cry my eyes out, I knew I could see this challenge through. I don't really want you guys to hear me cry, but I can take, ah, I can take these off and I'm very excited about that. And I think that means that I'm, that I'm through with the challenge. I hope she can't hear us. The door is open. This is different than the other door knocks. Ah! Oh my gosh, you scared me. Ah! Yay! How do you feel? Really confused because I've been without people and there's a lot of you guys. There's some coffee. And I, I, oh, thank you. You're welcome. If That's I cool. thought spending 24 hours alone was hard, well, we're in for a bumpy ride because we're about to go into the one of the world's longest caves. What does that mean? Well. You're about to see. To not only prove to Preston, but to myself that I can overcome one of my deepest fears. The team and I made the long journey to Nashville to arrive at one of the longest caves in the world. We got to the cave entrance. We're here. You should be receiving another task now on your bucket list. And your second task is to find a live animal. All right, y'all are locked in. You say we're locked in? Yeah. <laughs> Can't leave. That's locked forever. We have this wonderfully handsome man, Jay, who's going to help us. Jay, can you find an animal? I might could. Might could. Yeah. Maddie doesn't count. What? <laughs> There's a bat. Bat is tiny. Oh, so cute. President, we found a bat. A big one, two C's, and its name Batston. Batston, after you. What do we do next? You have a few things left on that list. Let's see if you can climb the biggest rock and crawl through the smallest hole. There's no way she does both of those. Am I allowed to use Vince as my pack mule? We could kick him out of the trip too, like you often do. Yeah, throw it on him. It's better than kicking him off. Here you go. Here you go. It's a lot of stuff. I know. Can you ask the editors above what splunking means? They pull up Google. So if I get really out of breath. We'll leave you. Okay, great. <laughs> I've been doing a lot of adventurous things recently. I feel like Spider-Man. So what I do is I just jump for it. You're saying the word jump. Okay, I don't feel that confident. You got it, Brie. I do not have upper body strength in this little rope like this big. I was supposed to go up. And I was like, okay, we're about to get to the activity. I didn't realize the activity was climbing through the cave. You got it. <laughs> Woo! Thank you, Jay. I kind of blacked out. 
Ow. I have a hard hat for a reason. Ever since I was a little girl, I was really like cautious. You say you're cautious and then your reflexes were like Spider-Man right there. It's not that hard. This is like childbirth. I can oh, move God. over. Oh. See you. He got birth. <laughs> I'm offending every woman who's had a baby. Ah, what? <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Bri, it's there's a cave cricket and he touched it and it moved and it's right there. Oh. Ew, 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 ew. Steven. That's the cricket. That's what we're talking about. Oh, you would just see a crooked rock you'd have no, to like scoot to on you. and then just darkness. I'm gonna slide right off that ledge. <laughs> That's why I'm here. <laughs> Shoosh. Ooh. Oh. There you go. Steven, that was the most uncontrolled slide. Hold on to this rope. Okay. And you're gonna dangle your feet over the edge. And there's gonna be a ledge. And then you're just gonna lower yourself onto that ledge. You'll step down to another ledge. Then you'll step down to the ground. Wasn't this uh, your idea? Yeah, it was. Put it against the rock. Yep. 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 Perfect. Perfect. There you go. Just keep sliding down. Ow. There. That's one ledge. Yeah. <laughs> just bring this foot down. Yeah. You're, yeah. We're just making sure there's a path up here. We'll be back later. They left, Bree. Okay, Brianna, you're going to need some rest because tomorrow is going to be even harder than today was. Now that it was way past midnight, we decided to set up camp. Kobe. We're supposed to sleep at that. You put it in the dirt. It's your river. I don't care. This one's out. Yeah. Oh my gosh. The heck is this? We set up camp. So I didn't realize it's freezing in caves. So I accidentally didn't bring the right outfit and I was cold all night and I barely slept. Oh. Y'all wanna hear a ghost story? Yes. Oh, I can no. tell you a ghost story. It's about a guy named Don Ball. He was uh, rappelling down, his rope snapped and he fell all the way down to the bottom. You actually get to see that or where it is. I've actually seen Don Ball. So many people have said they've seen a dude standing at the light show. So it just, it's crazy. That is crazy. You dropped something. Don Ball. Now that we're in day two, things get way more dangerous. Please be careful. Seriously. Just be careful. Should we? No, oh, yeah. After we you, sir. We yeah. got to. What is that? It's, I don't know. It's an inside joke. I asked the guides to lead them in circles. Let's see if they notice it. I don't know where I'm going. We'll figure it out. How many people get lost in caves every year? Exactly 6.4. I would just like you to give this video a big thumbs up so we don't get lost and become that point 0.4. This part's going to look kind of similar. Did we go in a... Now we're wrapping around. We are not in the same place, I promise you. You guys are gaslighting? This is the same part. We're not gaslighting, yes. we're just crazy. No, we straight up did this. This was the part I couldn't do. <laughs> yeah, I, I recognize things that I can't freaking do. Why did you make us do that? Oh, you guys said confusion. three times. You thought we were dumb. Yeah, you guys nailed it. I've taken people through uh, six times. That's my record. Oh gosh, I can't do this. We have to repel sideways. We have to pep talk right now. This is at that point now where like, the only way out is forward. Keep holding onto the rope. You got it. <laughs> what, Preston? This one has a 100 foot drop to the bottom. But like the guide said, the only way out is to go over. It was like a fight or flight situation. But you can't stop, you can't hesitate. Guys, if you're nervous, you gotta keep going. You're doing great. Hey, you're in it now. Oh my god, no, I'm freaked out. I don't like it. Here, can somebody go help her, please? Please, it's okay, it's okay, please, it's okay. Somebody's going, somebody's going. What you should get right here is you're good. I didn't really cry. And I don't think I almost cried, did I? I don't remember. Guys, I just feel like I'm not gonna look the best I ever have in this video. But be you, be yourself, it's fine. Okay, so one of our professionals who's amazing, he says he hates this part. On my bucket list, I'm trying to get to the smallest hole when I was having to crawl underneath a rock and I was literally like, I don't know how I fit in there. I feel like a dog, like wallering in the grass. Okay, so literally just crawl through here. Oh, it's going up? I thought it was going down. No, what? We're going up. Hit subscribe right here if you believe in Brie. Should gone. Wear your helmets, people. I bonked my head a lot. That was a journey. I don't get anything for doing the bucket list. I'm just here for moral support. Oh my God, the water. That's so cool. Whoa. I want to drink it. I know, I do too. It'll so go right through you. It's magnesium water. Oh no, I see another rope. So this is where I about lost my girlfriend at. All of this floor is called flowstone. It is the slickest rock you'll ever step on. Okay. And my girlfriend was walking across it and she did this number here. Just hold on to the rope at all times. Don't ever let it go. If you feel like you're slipping, still hold on to it. And now uh, grab the rope. Boom. You're scaring me just yeah. holding on to it with one hand. Now just walk across. Walk. Shh. 
straight line. Don't like put your foot in an angle or anything. Just walk straight line. Uh oh. I'm on it. We finally made it out of the cave. So are we good to go? I confronted my fear. You have made me such a proud husband, Brianna. You spent two days in a row in a cave. Now get the heck out of there. All right, so I've already overcome a couple of fears, but I've got this. I'm trying to become fearless. We can't stop now. Hello? Okay, I just walked into the bunker and I've been handed a mysterious envelope. I sent you with 12 different envelopes. And every single hour, you have to open up one of these envelopes and do whatever it says, no matter what. Show off the space. This is the front door to where I'm going to be sleeping. Oh, there's no lies in there. No, 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 no. No, no now you have to, you, you have no, to show no. this place off. <laughs> no, for real, I'm freaked out right now. Your prayers won't help you here. Your prayers won't help you here. Yeah, do you our see that? prayers always help us. We have our Lord Jesus Christ with us at all moments, and we are always safe. My first thought in the bunker, I won't lie, I thought it was kind of fascinating. But it was really creepy once it got to be nighttime because it was secluded in the middle of nowhere. Oh no. Throw a party with the stuff I hid at the bottom of the staircase. It's good. Oh, you dropped a few things. Oh. Bolognas. <gasps> this was a bringer on food bunker. <laughs> kind of sad. Okay, let's see. Let's look in the drawers and see if there's actually any food here. There wasn't earlier. Should I check again though? I, I feel like you should. Uh -huh. Wait. Let's say something bad. Food is just a stairway away. Love, pee. I'm excited for snacks. Really? Huh? <laughs> Got them. Spaghetti with the beef sauce? Wait, is that MRE? Is <gasps> it? It's the Military Ration Co. It's a heater bag. Insert unopened meal pouch. Add water to the heating bag. Oh, wait, that's so cool. It takes 12 minutes and it will totally heat up your food. Oh, oh, tear, tear where it, um. Ah! I don't know what to do. It burned me. Ew, like I'm not getting something slimy. Ew, ew, I don't know. Sipaget with beef sauce. Is it steamy? No. Is the plastic steamy? Yes, very much so. Yes. No, it's so cold. I give it a four. If this isn't good, I will cry. Pick the biggest room. I think I have to go to the silo. That's definitely the biggest. It's like 200 feet deep. <laughs> I hum when I'm nervous. Did you hear that? I heard that. I literally heard a mouse, I think. I don't think that's a mouse. Well, considering we're starting off with being terrified already, this is gonna be good. What do you mean you're leaving? I'm just gonna be here in the dark in the scary spooky? Yeah, but I'm also taking this. Seriously? Yeah, but I will leave you with that. Oh, I hope it's good. Write a poem? Seriously, how am I supposed to write a poem? I don't even have anything in here. That's convenient. So guys, this has kind of been a stressful day, but now it's really sinking in. When you're alone in a hole, hundreds of feet underground by yourself in darkness. This is one of the creepier experiences I've ever had. Let's get to writing a poem and see if I can distract myself. My name is Bree and I am currently scared. I am in a bunker like my husband dared. The silence is scary, the darkness is too, but I am conquering a fear just for you. I hope that is a good poem. Bree, before I forget, no communication. Okay. Oh, this is spooky. One wrong move and we're literally hundreds of feet down. <gasps> I legit heard something over there and I'm not lying to you. I legit heard something over there. Press the button. Look in your bag to find some fun. I don't even have a bag. <gasps> Wait, light bulb, sleeping back, back. That's what they're talking about, okay. These people are sneaky, man. I think it has something to do with the silo. 
This actually looks like Preston's handwriting. Like I legit think he did this. When the world ends, there's no fun. Love, P-Dog. We're gonna think of something fun we can do. I could play basketball with an imaginary hoop. So good. Don't take it. You have to find the scariest place in the entire bunker, but you have to stay there overnight with no people and no phone. Can you push yourself to the limits? <sighs> We are literally in the dark. You can barely see in here. And there's a spooky ghost man on the wall. I'm feeling a little more gutsy, guys, because I've turned on a light and I can see more, which also doesn't make me more confident because now I can see how large this room is. Look. You know what? I'm gonna take a nap. Why am I sleeping with the lights on? Don't ask. It's totally not because I'm scared right now. This is a really nice sleeping bag, but sleeping on um, metal with a lot of holes in it doesn't really do much for the for the back. Ooh, okay. Wish me luck, guys. Sweet dreams. The silence is scary. The darkness is too. But I am conquering a fear just for you. Mm. Oh, Take in some fresh air. <gasps> I took in too much fresh air at one time. I just realized we completed the challenge. I get to go home. Yay! I'm so proud of myself. <laughs> complete. All right, so I've already started to conquer some of my biggest fears, but let me know what yours are so we can face them together.